So when I say three, two, one, go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Another week, another video, and today I am gonna be doing uh, my four easy, very quick hairstyles. I am gonna take the level of difficulty depending upon the time it's gonna take for you to do the hairstyle. I feel like if the hairstyle is very difficult and it's gonna take a lot of time, I'm never gonna do it. If it's easy, then only I am gonna take the time out to actually do it. Obviously, for you to perfect these hairstyles, you're gonna have to practice a little bit, and once you do that, you're good to go. So I'm gonna start with the very first, which I think is the easiest one. And uh, for that, I am gonna just make a top bun on my head. So I've got my hair, and these are my uh, second day old hair, I haven't really washed them. I feel like hairstyles last really long in hair which are not really washed and are kind of like a little bit of lived in and have a little bit of product in them. So yeah, I have a little bit of product in my hair and I do have pretty tolerable roots. So yeah, we're gonna get started. So for the first one, I'm just gonna brush out my hair, make sure I have no tangles because I do want quite smooth hair for this. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna take all my hair and tie them up in a really high ponytail. Straighten everything out, make sure I don't have any lumps because then that doesn't really look nice. So this is where I want my ponytail to be. So I'm gonna take a nice little elastic and just tie my hair up. Now that you have a very high pony on the top of your head, you are just gonna take the ponytail and tighten it, like roll it up. Make sure you do this really tight, especially if you have layers in your hair because then those are gonna be peeking out. And just wrap it around the ponytail that you previously made. And what I like to do is I like to secure this with an other hair tie or else because I have layers so they start coming out. So there we go. Remaining to the hair that is sticking out, I'm just going to take a couple of bobby pins and I am going to fix it right up. So I'm happy with that. I like how it's on top of my head, away from my face. And yeah, I you can pull this up if you want to make it a little loose because obviously you don't want it to be like sticking to your head. Pull a little bit of the loose hairs and just, you know, make it look a little messy. I like it. Keeping a high ponytail, I'm going to do the second hairstyle and this one is similar to the one I did first. It is a top bun but it is a little bit messier and it has also braids in it. So for this I'm going to keep my high ponytail and I'm also going to take a donut scrunchie and I'm just going to take this and pop it in the ponytail. And then, this is going to be a little mental, but just trust me. So you're going to spread out all your hair on top of this scrunchie donut bun. And make sure, and make sure they're all around. Then I'm gonna take my hair tie and I'm just gonna put this on top of the donut bun. Now you're left with these hair, which you're gonna do something about, obviously. You're not gonna leave them like this, or you look really mental. The first section of hair I'm gonna take and I'm gonna start braiding it. And this is just a normal three strand braid. And you're going to want to do the same thing with the rest of the hair on the other side. Now that you have your two braids, you are just going to circle them around and pin them up with a bobby pin. are very similar to the normal braid but in this Dutch braid what you're gonna do is you're gonna reverse the braid so you're not gonna take it from the top you're gonna take it from the bottom and I will explain you when I show it to you now for this what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take the 
front sections of my hair. So I'm gonna take them out this much from here and I'm just gonna tie it up. Take the same amount from here and I am just gonna tie it up. So, so with the remaining of the hair, you're gonna just tie a ponytail. This is high or actually it just depends on how you want it because we are gonna be making a bun. You're gonna again take your donut scrunchie. You're gonna lay it there and you're gonna take all the hair, spread them out. Take this hair, this section, and just braid it. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna Dutch braid it. So you're gonna section your hair in three, but instead of going on the top, you're gonna go from the bottom. So bottom in the middle, bottom in the middle, bottom in the middle. And you just make sure you pull your hair towards the back because we are gonna be cleaning this up at the back. And you're gonna do the same thing on the side. I'm gonna leave my bangs slightly and just trim the rest of the hair. So basically, I'm doing the same thing. I'm making a Dutch braid. You're just gonna have to practice a little bit, and then you're gonna be perfect in it. Practice makes perfect. It gives my hair a little bit of volume, so I'm just gonna pull at these braids, make them a little thicker. If you do, if you don't like that kind of look, then. It is purely up to you if you want to make them thicker or not. And then you're gonna take these, you're gonna take these and you're just gonna pin them, circling them around and just pin them up. Okay, so the fourth hairstyle that I'm gonna be showing you is also very, very easy, but it just depends how much time you are willing to put in it. If you practice, then it could end up taking you only five minutes to make this. But if you are slightly new and you haven't practiced and you're not very good at Dutch braids, then it could take you a little bit longer. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smoothen out my hair. And I do have quite a bit of volume, so I'm not really gonna go in to get more volume. This hairstyle, if your hair is really flat and really silky, then you could use the Petite Stay Dry Shampoo to give yourself a little bit of volume. I already have volume because I did put this in yesterday, so I am not gonna be using it. Basically for this, I'm just gonna part my hair in the set. The same thing on this side. Just take almost an equal amount, and I'm just gonna tie that up your hair into three and you're gonna take the strand, you're gonna take the middle strand and you're gonna cross, make, make it, and then take this section, bring it down in the middle, this section, bring it down in the middle, basically crossing down instead of crossing over in a Dutch braid. You could do a three strand braid, but I like to do the Dutch braid these days. Same thing over here. Front section. Then you're just gonna make the same Dutch braids in the front as well. So you look really freaky right now, but that's okay. Now you're gonna take these and then you're just gonna basically take them right at the back and pin it. I have long hair, my hair does tend to cross on this side, but if you have shorter hair, then you can just pin it here and I think it looks really cute. And then you're gonna take the same thing and just cross that right across and make sure you cover the other pin and you pin it in place. I'm just gonna pull some hair out because I don't really like the center parting thing too much. I really like how this hairstyle looks from the back. I think it looks really pretty and really feminine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and to make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. In a flash or anything, but this is a natural looking foundation. Sits on your skin for uh, uh, vlogs to come. Did a post 